In today's video, John Jones sends a message to Stipe Miocic. Bisping reacts to Anderson Silva saying he's been KO'd twice in sparring. One championship's heavyweight champ offers to be traded for Piotr Jan. Bilal Muhammad calls out Hamza Shumaev. And Sean Strickland gets confronted by Aspen Lad's boyfriend. John Jones urges Stipe Miocic to sign up to fight at UFC 282 in Las Vegas. The former UFC champ recently tweeted, I'm preparing to fight Stipe December 10th in Las Vegas. Not really sure what's going on between Stipe and the UFC, but I'm ready to compete. I'm going to control what I can and stay in shape. Jones followed up with another tweet saying, I'm bringing all the heat, Stipe Miocic. I got that fire you could never put out. Sign the contract. Hashtag UFC 282. Would you guys like to see a Jones vs. Miocic matchup? If it were to happen, who do you think would come out the victor? Drop your thoughts in the comments below. In an interview with MMA Weekly earlier this week, Anderson Silva said he was knocked out twice in one sparring session before the Jake Paul fight. Silva later took back his words and said it was just a joke. Now, while speaking on the most recent episode of the Believe in Me podcast, Michael Bisping said that there's no way Silva got KO'd in sparring and he's just playing mind games with Jake Paul. Here's the clip. But I don't believe for one second that Anderson Silva was knocked out. Of course, he's come out now and he's corrected it. And he said, you know, I meant knocked down, not knocked out, which, you know, maybe that was the case. But I don't think he was knocked down either. Maybe he was. But this is classic Anderson Silva, right? This is what he does. This is what is the mind games, the psychological warfare that he puts fighters through his opponents. Like... Look at that video. We played it on Monday. The video of Jay Paul and uh, Anderson, the dancing, and they're all right. playing nice, and they're all, you know. And then he's saying, "Oh yeah, yeah, I've been knocked out loads up uh, up to this. I'm 47. I'm weak. I'm old. Do you know, it's what he does. He lulls people into like some weird false sense of security. And then and then when he's in there, he plays mind games. He'll help you up off the floor when he's just knocked you down. Do you know what I mean? He'll lean against the fence and put his hands down in a defenseless posture. He's just, he just fucks with people. And he is one of the very, very best at doing it. Listen, maybe he did get knocked down, but I don't believe he got knocked out for one second. And I do believe this is just Anderson Silva totally fucking with Jake Paul. So he doesn't know whether he's coming or going. One heavyweight champion, Arjun Buller, has offered to be traded for UFC's Piotr Jan. After a controversial loss to Sean O'Malley at UFC 280, Jan allegedly said that he's looking to leave the UFC as he feels the promotion doesn't have his back. On Thursday, the one heavyweight champ took to Twitter to offer himself as a potential trade for the UFC. Buller, who just captured the one championship heavyweight title last April, stated that for the right price, he'd leave the promotion. When asked by MMA reporter Aaron Bronstetter whether he wants to be traded for Jan, he wrote, When asked by MMA reporter Aaron Bronstetter whether he wants to be traded for Jan, Buller wrote, Well, they could get 1.6 billion viewers with an Indian athlete coming over. For the right deal, 100%, and I'd come over and win. Right the wrongs of Askren, do what Chandler wasn't able to do. And if 265 is still held up and 205 is the quickest path to the top, so be it. What do you guys make of these comments from Arjun Buller? Do you want to see Piotr Jan in one championship? Leave your thoughts below. After an impressive win over Sean Brady at UFC 280 last Saturday, Bilal Muhammad is still looking for his next opponent. While speaking to Jimmy Smith on SiriusXM, Muhammad said that he's eyeing a title shot and expects to get it after his next win, which for him, would ideally be the wolf, Hamza Shimaev. Our, the most important thing to me is to, to have that that fight that's going to give me the title fight next. Even for this fight, or I was like, I want to fight Shimaev because I know if I beat Brady, I'm still going to have to fight one more fight. Right. If they give me like a Gilbert Burns or somebody, they're going to make me fight one more fight before fighting for the title. There's always that excuse. Shimaev is the guy that everybody thinks is going to be champion. He, he's the next coming of everything, so... Let me just go directly to him. I beat him. That's that's my title fight. And there's there's nobody else that after that fight that could step in front of me. Uh, every fight I had, every other op uh, opponent that's out there, Tamayev still looming out there to take my spot as the number one contender. 
So I want to go directly to him, not have any other excuses after I beat him, and bam, they, they can't deny me after that. Sean Strickland has been very vocal online for his disgust towards MMA coaches who date their female fighters. This has now led to a real-life confrontation with Aspen Lad's coach and boyfriend, Jim West. Back in May, Strickland wrote a number of tweets targeting 45-year-old MMA coach Jim West, accusing him of grooming his 27-year-old girlfriend Ladd when she was underage. Now, a few months later, West has confronted Strickland at the UFC Performance Institute. Strickland took to Instagram to detail the interaction for his fans. That is the most awkward thing just happened to me, right? I'm leaving the PI. This guy walks up to me. He goes, hello, Sean. My name is Jim West. And I'm thinking, oh, man, me and this dude are about to scrap in front of the PI. And I start getting excited. But then he's really cool to me. And I'm like, oh, well, now this is awkward because I thought we we're going to fight. Anyways, so he comes up to me. He's like, well, Sean, you know, I heard what you said. And I was a former detective. Like, that means fuck all anything, you shady bastard. I was a former detective, and I did not know Aspen Ladd until she was 18. And I'm like, yeah, I know, dude. I'm not going to get into this, but, like, it's questionable, and I'm still going to talk because it needs to happen. And then when I'm like, I have a good one, I walk away. Anyways, but now since I was reminded of the situation, Jim West... She was training at your gym at 14 or 15 years old, right? We can say this is true. And at some point, she turned 18, and this girl you had no idea existed, she turned 18, and you're like, you know what? Now I'm going to put my in her and make her my girlfriend. Now, that sounds like grooming to me, but again, you also had no idea who she was, and she just put out really fast so i mean sounds like grooming but who knows west responded to this video in the comments it was nice to meet you sean strickland but your facts are incorrect aspen trained at underground mma in jackson california when she was 14 lol at least have your facts straight she didn't train at mma gold which was Folsom mma until she was 18 from 14 to 18 she trained at underground mma again you can talk that's your prerogative, there is your facts. Here are the top three funniest memes we found over the internet. Third place was found over Reddit and was posted by a user named MadMitchization. Second place was found over Reddit and was posted by a user named Renjuzi. And our top pick was found over Facebook and was posted by a user named Bill Webb. Thank you guys for watching. If you liked the video, please leave a like and subscribe to our channel to keep up with the latest MMA news.